All right, we're standing here with uh, one of the early standouts fall camp on the wide receiving core, Mitch Matthews. We've had early success, as I just said. How do you feel coming back after a summer of uh, intense conditioning? Well, I, I personally, I feel great, um, but I think as a team standpoint, we all feel great. Um, one of the, for the things I talk about some of my teammates in the locker room was that, like going into fall camp, it just feels like another day because we've been doing these exact practice formats every single day. So to come out here, nothing's new, nothing's scary, nothing's like daunting because we just know what, we, what we're doing. And for I don't know how many weeks it was, 11 weeks, 12 weeks in the summer, we've been doing those practices just without coaches. And they've been high intensity just like they are now. And so we feel comfortable coming in. That person has rubbed off on me being able to be comfortable in going to these uh, fall camp practices. You said on Saturday that you feel more confident than ever. Why do you feel that way? Um, I guess, you know, coming uh, home off my mission, you, I, you're a little rusty, and so that confidence isn't there. I was a freshman, so. But I think it's honestly, I've been playing with such great players since I've been, I've been blessed to play with Dennis Pitta. I've been blessed to play with McKay Jacobson and Ross and Cody and, and players like that. And I'm, I've grown up playing with my brother, who's been a good example. So it's like, I play with all these great players, and now that I'm older and know the system really well, it's rubbed off on me a lot to be able to, to learn from such great players. And so I feel confident in my game to be able to um, replicate what they've done in the past. Let's talk about your brother Marcus. How has that been to play with with your brother on this BYU football team? It's a blast, honestly. It's such it's so much fun. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's something that keeps you going because there's times where I'm down and he picks me up, and there's times where he's down and I pick him up. So it's good. You know, I'm, um, our parents are they actually moved out here so they could be with us. So it's a more of a, it's a family thing that we're out here together and we pick each other up and we're there for each other. And he's he's a great player and I learn from him every single day. And he is one of the mentally like mostly. He's mentally tough kids on the team. He's so mentally tough, and I learned from him so much being my older brother, and you know, he makes sure that I'm doing exactly what I need to do to play, and so he's always there for me, which is very comforting. The scrimmage at the end of practice today wasn't very long, about 13 minutes, but it was full of eye-opening plays. Why was the offense so effective today? Um, we have been begged and asked to step up these, these next couple of days because we've been doing good, but good isn't enough to win us in all the games we need to win. So we need to be playing great in Coach and I, and uh, for our personal group of receivers, Coach Holliday's made sure that today we stepped up and uh, to go full speed. And you can tell that when we're full speed, when we're healthy, when we're not complaining about being tired with this hurry up offense, when we're running full speed, that it's hard to stop no matter how good of a defense there is going, going against us. One thing that helps me personally is knowing that our defense is so good, I have to prepare as best as I can to be able to come out every practice. You yourself got open for a couple of long passes during that short scrimmage, one for about 55 yards and then another one for a touchdown that basically ended things. What were those plays and, and how were you able to get open? Um, you know, I have to I actually, you know, went light yesterday because I had a, a pulled groin, so my legs have been a little fresh. I have to credit that for sure. But it is. Um, you know, it's fun to have, have quarterbacks um, that I go with that are such good leaders, like Taysom and Ammon um, and Christian and Jason, that are such good leaders. And they look at you in the locker room before you run out, and they say, let's go. We're going to go today, and we're going to score touchdowns. And they'll, they'll pump you up in the locker room. And so you're playing for your receivers. You're playing for your coaches. And when you get out there, and that quarterback looks at you. I remember Taysom right before that. He looked at me. He winked, and he gave me a go route. And I just knew right there he was going to – I was going to run harder than I ever did, and he was going to put it perfectly because – one that, you know, all the receivers were on that same page that it was a wink and a smile that gives you that extra step of speed to go and catch a ball. So that was pretty cool. Well, it worked out, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Now, obviously, as a wide receiver, you have a very talented core. There are some very young players. Mm -hmm. Of the young guys, the new guys, who has really impressed you? Um, so there's two new receivers, um, Colby and Michael, and they're both really good. They, I mean, just like I was just like them, you know, coming in. They're really quick, they're really fast, they're ready, they're eager to learn. It's hard to learn the plays, and that's something that they've had, that's part of their biggest struggle is learning the plays, but they're good athletes. And so when you get them in one-on-one -on -one drills where you know they know exactly what they're doing, they can really impress people with their one-on-one -on -one skills. And uh, we have a big brother program at BYU, so Colby's my little brother, and so I make sure he knows the play. I try as hard as I can to make sure he knows the plays and he knows exactly what he's doing so he can feel comfortable and get a, you know, a, a step ahead for a freshman, and they're doing great. They're doing a great job. It's weak. I mean, it hasn't even been five practices yet, and they're already making huge steps to contribute. So, what kind of a dynamic does uh, Coach Holiday bring? He's new. He's a new wide receivers coach. How is it playing for him? It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. We we laugh our heads off, 
and then there's times where we're close to tears because he's right on top of us making fun of how bad you know, our route was. And so there's a big dynamic on the team where you know, on the field he's tough, he's serious, and he's game on. And then off the field he's like a, he's a good friend to you. And so he makes you laugh, he makes sure you're okay. And then in the team room, you know, it's a good mix where he's making you laugh, but he's making you focus so you can learn to, you know, how to be better. And so he has this dynamic of, of fun, but very serious when it's, it's time to be serious. And that helps us know that off the field we can, we can goof off and have a good time, but on the field it's game time. And that, that brings the aspect of, um, you know, having fun, but then going on the field and being who we are and throwing the ball around. Mitch, you play with some talented quarterbacks that you have yeah. mentioned. Ammon and Taysom both throw the ball with a lot of velocity. Who hurts your hands more? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they, I, 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 they both sling it really hard. And it is something that you got to get a new pair of gloves every week just to, just to be ready. And I, I, honestly, it's about the same. They throw it equally as hard. And there's times where you got to jump up and you're looking right at that little dot in the ball. Because you know, if you don't, if you're not focused, it's going right through your hands and it could be a pick. And if that happens, you're never getting the ball again. So you got to make sure that you're focused on the ball. and. Making sure you're uh, catching extra balls because those things are they're coming like bullets. So you got to make sure you're ready for them.